Hello and happy holidays from Citrus College and the Ha Performing Arts Center. I'm Tina Mittler and I'm the director of the Ha Performing Arts Center. Like you, we were so disappointed that we couldn't bring everyone together for our annual holiday spectacular Christmases. It really is our favorite time of year. We know things look different this year, but one thing remains. It is our hope, as always, to bring you joy. And that is just what this special performance is all about. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you our Dean of Visual and Performing Arts, Mr. John Vaughn. John? Thank you, Tina, and welcome everyone at home to this evening's production. You know, since we couldn't do Christmases live, we have the next best thing. We're gonna start this evening with some of our best moments from past productions, so please enjoy. That will be followed by the premiere of our animated treat to you from the Citrus Singers, Don't Shelve the Elves. You know, it really did take a village to put this evening's production together. So if you will indulge me for a couple moments, I'll have a few people I'd like to thank. First, I'd like to thank Doug Austin, who is the director of the Citrus Singers, Alan Everman, who worked with him on the musical direction of the production, Renee Liskey, who is the choreographer of the Citrus Singers, and of course, the Citrus Singers themselves, who have done a wonderful job with the voiceover work tonight. Also, I'd like to thank Mike Cottle, who is our audio engineer, Kristen Campbell, who is in charge of our social media. I'd also like to thank everyone on the Haw Performing Arts Center staff, Tina Mittler, Jean Barrera, Diane Berendez, Michelle Russell, Stacey Benjamin, Lois Tedrow, Karen Talby, Dan Velter, and most especially, John Patrick. John Patrick has been the lead designer on Christmas Is for many years, and he worked alongside his character designer, Grace O, oh, to do the wonderful animation you're about to see. Great job, John. You are creativity personified, but beyond that, you saved Christmas this year. So, on behalf of everyone here at Citrus College, from our board of trustees, our administrators, our faculty and staff, we wish you a warm and wonderful holiday season. And I, for one, and I bet you too, are going to be looking very forward to welcoming in a new year. Enjoy.
Hello, and happy holidays. On behalf of the Citrus Singers, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual production of Christmas Is. Sort of. Things have certainly changed since we were all together last year, but the Citrus Singers want you to know that even though they can't be with you this Christmas in person, they are thinking about you, they miss you and your families, and they hope that everyone is staying safe. I also know of a certain jolly old soul who is thinking about you as well. And he, along with everyone at the North Pole, is doing all that he can to keep the spirit of the season alive. So let's take a peek and see how Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the elves are doing as they prepare for this very unusual Christmas. Oh, 
I know Christmas is coming, but this year, it sure feels different somehow. What do you mean? We're all making toys. As usual. And striping candy canes. As usual. And wrapping presents. As usual. And shoveling. Well, you get the idea. As usual. You see? Just like any other Christmas. Have you looked in the mirror recently? You're two-dimensional. Well, I've never claimed to be deep. No, I mean this year you're... We're all cartoons! And that's not the only change. There's more? I just found out that none of us will be going to Citrus College for our annual holiday visit. No singing? No dancing? No candy canes? But that's where Santa invites the children of the world to come up and visit. <laughs> Need I say more? Wow, word certainly travels fast. Santa will still deliver all his presents on Christmas Eve. But Christmas just won't be the same without our visit to Sitges College to see the children of the world. How is Santa taking the news? I'm not sure he even knows yet. Well, someone has to tell him. Yes, but who? Hey! Where did everyone go? So, to clarify, this is not fake news. We won't be going to Citrus College this year to see the children of the world. Well, this is so disappointing. Does Santa know? Oh, I'm on my way to talk to him right now. If you want, I'd be glad to come along, Ernie. Um, um, <clears throat> for moral support. Gee, Elsie, that would be great. Meet me in front of Santa's house in 15 minutes. I'm sure gonna miss visiting with all the children of the world at Citrus College this year. And waving to all their moms and dads. And sharing all those sweet treats from Mrs. Claus's candy kitchen. You know, even though we can't see everyone we'd like to this holiday season, we can still keep in touch. Just how do you propose we do that? We can use the North Pole Carrier. The North Pole Carrier? Why, that's us. That's right. We've always carried Santa's sleigh. That's not what I meant. Don't you like Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen? Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Of course! But we're modern elves. We also like Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, Hip Hop, Snapchat, Texting, YouTube, and TikTok. And don't forget Rudolph the Reddit Reindeer. Can you hear me now? 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 Rudolph, I didn't know you were so good at social media. 
Of course I am! That's why the rest of the reindeer follow me. So, what do you say we take a break and do a little holiday texting? <sighs> it sure won't replace mistletoe. Maybe not, but it can still help someone know how you feel. Listen to this. This holiday, you'll be far away, and I'll be all alone. So please remember this December to fully charge your phone. From you will remind me you're still there. You don't have to add much to it. One smiley face will do. Baby, text me Merry Christmas, cause I'm missing kissing you. Text me Merry Christmas, make my holiday complete. Though you're far from me, say you'll be our B. That's a text I'll never delete. worried that under the circumstances, all the elves will officially be shelved this year. Then talking to Santa is the right thing to do. Thanks for coming with me to talk to him. It's my pleasure. I like doing things with you. Hey there, boss. How about a sweet, sweet musical interlude from boys to snowmen? Something to set a romantic mood for you, too. Ooh. Romantic? Well, I, I mean, that is... Sorry, we don't have time. Of course not. We're on our way to see Santa Claus. Hurry up, Elsie. Let's get inside. No one should be outside on a night like this. No one should be outside on a night like this. I couldn't have said it better myself. I don't mind being cool, baby. But this is downright freezing. I wonder how that little Olaf dude stands in. As my famous cousin would say, this is frosty, man. Frosty. Say, why is that snowball on your head? It's my man bun! I didn't think being in a boys band would leave me out in the cold. You and your there's no business like snow business ideas. I thought we would play all those warm halls for all those fancy snowballs, but all we ever get is a cold shoulder. And I even got a nose job for this gig. A baby carry! You know who's got it made, man? Those elves, sitting in a warm toy shop, getting free hot cocoa, while we stand out here hoping to be cast as extras in Frozen, Frozen 3. 3! 
Let it go, bro. Let it go. Well, all we can do is keep on wailing. Maybe someday we can get promoted to assistant elf third class reindeer barn division. A five, six, seven. Lately, I've been spending time thinking about myself And I have slowly come to realize that I should have been a North Pole elf Baking cookies, trimming trees, and all the other Christmas stuff like hanging mistletoe and candy cane, so I just can't get enough. That is why I'm hoping soon a job will open to work with Santa Claus himself. There's no way to deny it, really wanna try it, I should have been a North Pole elf. I'm something of a whiz And when it comes to wrapping packages I'm the very best that there is I'd be good at making toys And stringing Christmas lights And please forgive me if I start to brag But I probably look good in tights that is why I'm hoping soon a job will open To work with Santa Claus himself There's no way to deny it Really wanna try it I should've been a North Pole elf I should've, would've, could've been a North Pole elf So unfortunately, Santa, we won't be going down to Citrus College this year to visit the boys and girls of the world. We didn't want to upset you, but we felt someone should tell you. Such sad faces. But you don't have to worry about me, because, you see, I already knew. Ho ho ho! You, you knew? knew? If he knows when you are sleeping, and he knows when you are awake, he pretty well knows everything now, doesn't he? <laughs> Good point. We were just concerned we didn't want you to be disappointed. Disappointed? Around Christmas time? Ho ho ho! Never! Of course things will be different this year, but that doesn't mean we can't still have a very Merry Christmas. But we will be so far away from all of our friends. What if they forget about us? What if they forget about Christmas? Forget about Christmas? That's impossible. Even in the most difficult of times, there will always be Christmas. Oh, we may have to make a few adjustments, but the sense of joy, peace, love, and hope that we feel during this time of year can always be ours, no matter how or where we celebrate. That's right, Papa. And I am sure that the warm memories of Christmas is past, and the anticipation of Christmas is yet to come, will keep the spirit of Christmas alive, yesterday, today, and always. So let's raise our voices in song to what Christmas is and always will be. A sound of hope, a sound of peace, a song that celebrates and speaks what we believe 
A sound of love A sound so strong It's amazing what is given when we share a song This is why we sing Why we lift our voice Why we stand as one in harmony Why we sing, why we lift our voice, take my hand and sing with me. Soothe the soul, soothe the soul, and a heart, bring together lives that have been torn apart. It's a never-ending gift that circles back again. This is why we sing, why we lift our voice, why we stand as one in harmony. harmony. This is why.
Okay, you can stop now.